what could we attribute that to? Or, well, we've been talking about the incumbency and advantage, but what is it about uh, incumbency, especially in Metro Manila, it seems, that makes it such uh, a big advantage for those who are seeking re-election or are seeking to replace a relative in a position or things like that? I think it, it, it has something to do with um, brand recognition. Uh, it's, it's kind of an, an easy way for people to, to decide because it's something that is familiar. And if, if the incumbent candidate is, is, has a track record that is not rife with failures or, or issues or scandals, it's very difficult to, to, to convince people to vote for an alternative candidate. I think what we are seeing here, apart from the incumbency advantage, or rather the incumbency advantage is built on the idea of, of loss aversion or what, what behavioral economists call as the endowment effect. Uh, people are... are are more inclined to vote for something that is familiar than opt for a risky change. Uh, this, this, of course, is in line with, with ideas of continuity and the desire to see uh, current reforms of, of the incumbents uh, continue. They, they would want these, these, these incumbent mayors to have longer runways for reform. Generally, if, if people are, are not particularly angry with their with their three or six, their performance in the past three or six years, then with the endowment effect in mind, I, I it's it's very difficult to to convince voters uh, to vote for a new candidate. So David, in these mayoral races, what can the challengers do to make it a more competitive race? Well, apart from campaigning harder than the incumbents, which is a tall order, they they have to put forward compelling argument in in a way that is in 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 a messaging strategy that would reach the broadest section of the electorate possible. Uh, if you consider the timeline, they 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 only have less than two and a half months left, so. There isn't much time to, to, to pivot away from existing messaging strategies. So at this point, I'm, I'm inclined to think that the best that they can do is to pound on some doors and intensify their campaign operations.